hey guys welcome or welcome back to my channel um today i want to do a little haul um stationary haul and then i was going to talk about my um my journals and planners talk about my first week in them how i've been um you know writing in them and all that but first i wanted to do a stationary haul um so I went to Office Depot. Well, I was going to TJ Maxx and on the way to TJ Maxx, there was a, a guy standing with a um, sign that says 70% off Office Depot. And I'm like, ooh, um, I wanted to go after TJ Maxx because I didn't really find anything stationary. I was really looking for some moleskin journals. Had no luck, didn't find nothing. Um, so we went to Office Depot and luckily I found two, I mean, well, there was multiple Moleskine journals, but I found a couple and they were 50% off and most of the stuff I got here was 50 to 70% off. So yeah, I, I just kind of went crazy and everything was on sale. Um, I did get a couple other things, um, like for my daughter, like some Crayola stuff, like paintbrushes and paint sticks, like um i got some of that for her um because that sh that stuff was half off as well like 70 percent off i got some glue sticks to extra glue um this works a lot better than this glue right here this works so much better and everything has been staying like on the pages it's not like peeling up or anything but anyways so I don't have the packaging because I already opened it, but this is like, like a bookmark post-it note. Um, it's supposed to just sit like that or something like that. It's supposed to be like a little bookmark. And um, So yeah, I got that. That was like clearance for $2. Um, I got some paper clips, which I'm really excited about because I really needed some paper clips. Let me see. Oh, that's, that's a sticker right there. And there's just little spirals. I just thought these were cute. Hopefully they work well. I'm not gonna open that, that's too much right now. Okay, so yeah, I got some paper clips um, and then I got some stickers as well. These are like teacher, teacher stickers. Um, I got these cause I just, you know, I love star stickers and I love all the colors. So, I just got these. These were 50% off as well. Um, and this is just super fun. And my daughter, I, I give her some of my stickers too to play with. Because she likes using stickers on paper and just, you know. So, she should have some fun with some of these stickers as well. <laughs> um, and then I got some more star stickers. These were in like the teaching teacher area. Um, everything was different prices, like 30% off, 60% off, 70% off, 50% off, 20% off. Like it was like everything in the store, including the shelving, like that stuff was on sale as well. Um, I saw these really cute star stickers. I like the patterns and I like the colors. Get six sheets of those. So I got just some stickers. And then I saw this. I honestly don't know why I grabbed this. I just grabbed it because I'm like, ooh, it's half off. Um, and it's a five by eight size. And I just thought of using these like as bookmarks, like kind of like dividers in my journals because it's like about the size of like an A5 slim. Um, like an A5 so that, that would be interesting or I can cut these out and put them in um, ring binders and I can just cover up the letters like you know to use them as um, excuse me regular dividers or something like that I don't know I just grabbed it I didn't really have a purpose for this but I got it it was half off or like I think it was like 70% off I think this was yeah this was 70% off and then the main reason for going were for some Moleskine journals. So their journals were 50% off. And then dated planners were like 70% off. I didn't get no planners. I mainly went for some Moleskine journals. Um, so the first one I got were just some regular Kahir ruled notebooks. Um, these were $10 half off. And then 
um, there was two Moleskine journals like this. It was a red hardcover one and a black soft cover, but I've been, I enjoy soft covers a lot more. So I grabbed this one. This was 50% off. So it was like $12.47, which is still a good deal for a Moleskine. So I have, um, some Moleskine journals, which I'm so excited about and can't wait to use. But for now, I have been thinking of wanting to start this one. I have a soft cover, like teal blue one that I found at Marshall's for like $8 like last year or something. I don't know, something like that. Um, and I want to use it for more uh, for journaling and comma placing. Um, so I guess I can start talking about this because I'm bringing this up. So let me move everything. So I have been really enjoying my Kimbor um, A5 Daily, you know, for journaling. Um, I love that I have a page a day. Don't feel too pressured to have to do like, two, you know, multiple pages. Um, I have gotten behind a couple days, but I just caught up. I have just been writing. As you see, the first day I wrote a lot. And then I include some pictures and just using stickers. Um, I tipped in this little like vellum piece because it was like just extra and I didn't want to throw it away. Um, so I'm like, oh, I can use these as tip ins to like put pictures. And so I put some more pictures. Um, and then I use a little magazine cutout. I don't know why, but I just love the pancakes. I just love the little flowers they that are like cooked with the pancakes. I don't know. Um, so. I just thought this was really cute and then I just journaled around it um, and yeah this has just been lots of fun and I have been really enjoying this this is today I need to write a little bit um, and that's pretty much that so like sometimes like I'll journal and I I don't know I just want more space sometimes I want to do multiple pages so I thought to start another journal which that's what this where this comes from and that's what I was talking about. Um, sometimes I just want to write more or like just do collaging um, with stickers and like um, magazine clippings and stuff like that. Or like, you know, just write a bunch of quotes or song lyrics. Sometimes I just want to do that. So I thought this would be a nice little journal to have on the side. Can you see my cat Ozzy chewed up my moleskin? I'm like, out of all my journals you could have chewed up and you chew my moleskins <laughs> i was upset but it's not like he chewed it that much i mean honestly you can see it through the pages some of the pages um as you can see here like literally he chewed on this i was kind of upset but um once i use it it's really not gonna matter um, I'm just glad he didn't tear up like the whole journal. I would have been so sad. Um, so still usable. So yeah, I think I'm gonna add this to my lineup. I did, um, talk about this most and weekly, <laughs> um, planner. I have done, I have not really touched this. I did a one day and that is it. And I'm not going to force it, okay? I'm not going to force it. Um, I have all my stuff in here. So if I really wanted to sit down and just like, you know, if I'm just in the mood to just write, I can just, you know, just, I don't know, back playing, um, catch up, I guess, play catch up in this. And I really want to, um... So I guess we'll see. I don't know. I have been really enjoying this, um, like B6 weekly Kimbor. Um, sometimes I don't touch it every day. Um, but I don't really use this for planning. I just pretty much journal, like just writing about my day pretty much. And just, this is just like my yearly book. So this is, this book is going to have all, um, of, um, oh, why can't I speak? This notebook here is going to be like my full year. Um, if you know, I did 
or I was in the A5 um, Kim board for 2023 for most of the year. Um, I hopped back and forth between this and then I went into a Moleskin Weekly and the Moleskin Weekly didn't work out. And then I started enjoying this more. There are some days where they're blank, but I kept up with it towards the end most of the part. Oh, I love this planner. I got so used to the A5 size that it's like, this is so much smaller trying to like write in it and everything. Um, I just like, I love this so much. I didn't really do much of January, I mean, December to January, but that's okay. And then that's pretty much that. I just have it in this cover for right now. And I just keep it on my little journal cart because I still need to do a little flip through. But um, yeah, this is how I've set it up. I haven't done too much. I did this little picture of me and my boyfriend and then this little sticker that I just loves so much. And yeah, I just added, added my own pictures. I try to do, I'm trying to use this as like a mood tracker. Um, so far I'm doing all right. <laughs> I forget about it a lot. Um, and then here are my weeklies. Well, let me show you the monthlies because I haven't done too much, honestly. The first day I try to do gratitude, but I'm like, mm, no, I'm not keeping up with that. So I'm just doing a sticker a day. It don't even matter what kind of sticker. I'm just doing a sticker a day. And that's pretty much what I'm doing with the monthlies. Um, and then here are my weeklies. This was last week. Left side, I just running to-do list. Like it's a brain dump, like stuff I need to buy, just like, um, like to-dos, to-buys, all that stuff. You know, I just write that on the left side. And then I just been journaling. My daughter got sick the very first day of January. So she was sick most of this week, like literally this whole week, pretty much she was sick. But, um, so yeah, I just pretty much journal. Um, don't really do much planning. It's just like, just, just, I just make it look cute with stickers and just like I just write about my day and stuff pretty much. Um, and I really like how this week looked. I'm still trying to get used to the size because like you see the size difference between the A5 and this one. Um, I guess let me take it out of this cover. Like this is, <laughs> this is the size difference. It's just, just a tad bit just a tad bit as you can see um so yeah these are a lot smaller smaller the columns so i'm trying to get used to that because i can't use as like too many stickers um, um so i have to use like smaller stickers but anyways it's still cute i love how this is coming out um this is today i still need to write a little bit about today but i have just i don't know i just love the kimboard paper it's just I don't know something about it I just really love it um and then I added another piece of vellum back here it's a little janky but that's okay that's why I attached it back here in the very back so you don't really see it that much um and then I included this little image from a book and then this is a little quote that I ripped out from a book as well and so that's pretty much my Kimbo weekly and what I've been using what's been working um so this is just gonna sit on my little journal cart for right now um, until I feel like picking it up. But for right now, these two have been working and I do want more space for journaling, commonplacing and all that. So I think I'm gonna start this notebook, which I'm really excited about. Um, so yeah, I think I'm gonna do that or I'm thinking of using one of these. Because I'm like nervous, what if I can't keep up with it and it doesn't work out, you know? And I, I don't wanna waste a whole notebook, you know? So I'm like, do I start it in here? I don't know, I just have to think about it. I don't know, I'll figure it out though. But yeah, that's really it for today's video. Um, maybe next video I'm setting up a new journal. I'm not sure now, now that I'm thinking about it, I might start this one just in case. Um, I don't know, just to try it out to see if it works. Cause sometimes I'm like, 
um, one page a day is like fine with me and I can't do multiple pages, but honestly, I think I might just start this one and save this. Like if one of, if it works out, then I can like move into the a full journal. So I think that's what I'm gonna do. I might do a setup video for that. But yeah, that's really it. Thank you guys so much for watching. Hopefully you guys enjoyed this video. I appreciate you all. Um, let me know video ideas down below because I I want to film. I just, I feel like I never know what to film and I'm like just lost right now on what to film. But yeah, just let me know. Um, thank you guys so much for watching and I'll see you guys in my next video. Bye.